Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Adjective Phrase 88. The adjective phrase today is faint of heart. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. All right, let's get right to it. If someone says that a person is faint of heart, it means that he or she cannot handle much stress, discomfort, fear, anything unpleasant, etc. Uh, it is also used for people who are weak or easily squeamish or easily shocked or upset. Okay, let's continue. They say the phrase rigid in the medieval world in reference for those who could not handle anything too stressful. Perhaps someone was too faint of heart for a particular operation or treatment. Again, they just couldn't handle it. All right, let's go on. There is a second theory. Uh, that faint-hearted uh, came from faint in the 1400s, meaning to lack courage uh, or spirit. And there used to be old phrases that uh, faint heart never won fair lady or won fair maiden. So uh, basically, it meant that a man could not be weak. He needed to be bold. He needed to be daring to take a chance or win the heart of a woman. So... Basically, in the Middle Ages, women did not want weak men. <laughs> That's kind of what the idea is. If you are faint of heart, then uh, maybe no women wanted you. They um, Probably even more so than today, they wanted to make sure they had a man that could protect them. All right, let's go on. All right, we got four examples to show just how we would use this. Here's the first one. Uh, being an emergency room doctor or nurse is not for the faint of heart. Because often you get people who just suffered accidents, they come in, they're all bloody, things like that. Then we say, you know, uh, you, have to, you have to deal with that. Sometimes you see things that are very shocking. Yeah, I remember years ago, I was a teacher of a nurse, and she says, you know, she got used to all the blood and stuff, but even one thing that kind of scared her a little bit was sometimes uh, well, one person came in with a knife still in them. I guess they wanted to commit suicide or something. So uh, it still shocked her. Uh, that much, even though she got used to seeing all the blood and stuff from accidents. So this is not for the faint of heart. And people who are squeamish are often squeamish about blood, too. So let's look at the second one. Uh, there are a lot of huge swings in cryptocurrencies. It is not for the faint of heart. Yeah, so if you invest in something and the price can go way up and way down and way up and way down uh, like that, it, it might scare you too much. So if you're not that type of person, you shouldn't do that. Uh, number three, climbing Mount Everest is not for the faint of heart. You pass by many dead bodies of those who died trying to climb it, and it takes a lot of endurance to go on, so not for the faint of heart. And number four, bungee jumping is not for the faint of heart. Yeah, uh, you can probably say that about almost any extreme sport, <laughs> whether it was skydiving or mountain climbing or or anything like that, that that has a certain amount of danger to it. Okay, anyway, uh, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.